YouTube, this is Die Fly Fish. Just want to show you, I'm going to be revisiting another experiment that was originally uh, proposed by the Thunderbolts project to create raised dendritic ridges as an electric discharge phenomenon. And it occurred to me last night, had a small epiphany little moment, that insofar as plasma is scale invariant, and we have the Tesla style bar circuit here, that the key to replicating any form of raised dendritic ridges, whether it's on the Earth or in Mars, would be to create the appropriate scale substrate. And not unlike Newton, the inspiration for my modeling was actually that, which is an apple. The skin is approximately 0.4 millimeters in diameter, or 0.4 millimeters thick, and the diameter is 2.75 to 3 millimeters, or 3, uh, 2.75 to 3 inches in diameter. The ratio for the Earth is 25 kilometers to 6,400 kilometers crust to diameter of the Earth ratio, so it's approximately 0.4%. So aluminum foil stacked about four thick is about 0.4 millimeters, which is a good analog to the thickness of the skin of an apple. So the crust, average 25 kilometers, scaled down would be a number of thicknesses of aluminum foil. So for what it's worth, we will be subjecting aluminum foil thicknesses to the capacitive electric discharge phenomenon of the Tesla style bar circuit as a means to see if we can create any type of three-dimensional substrate alteration that creates raised forms of ridges or otherwise. And suffice to say that the scale is key. And I have this standoff with PTFE tubes this aluminum foil thickness is representing the thickness of the Earth's crust. This is created as an analog to the ionosphere and or coupling device from extra Earth electrical influence from the sun or otherwise. And this equivalent is the electrical core of the Earth, which I think is a viable analog instead of just a solid lump of iron or otherwise or, or molten iron. So. It's an electric phenomenon as per what I believe the Thunderbolts would argue, and I agree with that. So for what it's worth, we'll be subjecting aluminum foil thicknesses to the capacitive discharge phenomenon, which is akin to what Ken Shoulders would consider charge clusters and or Birkeland current type of discharge phenomenon to the aluminum foil. Thanks for watching. More videos to follow.
I give you raised dendritic ridges.